What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys around a first generation Ford Raptor with the 6.2 liter, and it has over $80,000 in modifications. So I'm here with the owner, and he's kinda gonna to explain to us what the different modifications that you guys get, whether it be the wheels, the tires, the paint matching, the what's under the hood and stuff like that. He's gonna walk us through what you guys get with $80,000 in modifications on a first generation Raptor. So here we have Brian. This is the owner of this Raptor. Thank you, Brian, for giving us your time today to walk you guys or to walk us around this beautiful first gen Raptor here. You kind of lead the way. Let me know uh, where we want to go and sure. we'll start. Sure, so uh, this thing's been my baby since 2015. Uh, I bought it used with about 40,000 miles on it. Um, I own a couple automotive shops, and so we do a lot of repairs, and we've done most of the work on this truck, but um, over the years, we've done just piece after piece. And so we've done, you know, full-built transmission. Um, the engine's actually a 6.6 liter engine from Livernoy Motorsport. Uh, Livernoy Motorsports. Um, it's pro-charged. It's got a SBC King uh, suspension on it, track bars, you know, there's some cosmetic things we've done to it. Um, it makes about 15 pounds of boost. It does have uh, the ability to identify types of fuel. So you can do 93 octane, you can do uh, E85, which is what I normally run in it. Or you can, you know, if you really want to spend the bucks, you can do C16 race fuel. Um, it was dyno tuned, it made just over 900 horsepower to the rear wheel by uh, JPC Performance, awesome guys. They did uh, a full fuel system upgrade to it, like I mentioned. It's got uh, a high pressure fuel system in it, two fuel pumps, bigger diameter uh, fuel line, bigger fuel rail. Um, it's got bigger injectors in it, um, obviously wheels and tires. And uh, this thing was my daily for a long time. I still dailyed it. Um, I'm sure it got great fuel economy. It gets about six miles a gallon <laughs> trying. Um, I don't know what it gets when I'm not trying because it's real sad then, but uh, it's awesome. Um, yeah, do we want to show them the Pro Charger sure. first? Yeah, so what kind of Pro Charger is it? Um, it's an F1A Pro Charger. It makes about 15 pounds of boost. Um, and unfortunately, that's with some felt to it. Um, if I wanted to change all the pulleys on the front of it, we could uh, we could actually get some more boost out of it. But around 15 pounds, it's nice intercooler. To yeah, custom intercooler. Um, you know, custom custom little air intake. You'll see there's no room in here to actually get a filter on the front of this Pro Charger. Um, Is that the original block? No. So it's it's an orig a Ford original block. The original engine I blew up with a, a D1 SC Pro Charger. And, um, so this isn't the first one you put on it? That's the second Pro Charger. Okay. Um, the other Pro Charger was, was a little smaller, um, but around 100,000 miles. That engine threw a rod. Um, so Livernoy buys a uh, Ford block. Uh, they bore and stroke it to 6.6 .6 liter and it's got stage two heads on it, cams and titanium valve springs and billet fuel pump. And, all the uh, goodies. I'm sorry, uh, oil pump. Um, there's all kinds of stuff done to this thing. Love it, makes tons of power. Neighbors hate it, it's loud when you start it. Oh yeah, I mean when you got, when we take this thing on a drive, you guys will hear that even at idle, you can hear that Pro Charger just whooshing. Uh, it's it's a really really cool sound and especially when you get on it. There's nothing that really sounds like a Pro Charger It's really really cool. So obviously you have these aftermarket bumpers I love the wheel and tire setup on this thing. This really just adds to the Baja truckiness especially with that like uh, Bar back there on the bed that looks really sweet yeah, Casey we, lights and we definitely went with uh, a lot more rubber than rim on this um, as you do You know the, the trucks been to outer banks. It's seen a little air um, You've jumped it yeah, the suspension handles really, really well. Um, I cannot remember the, uh, the the distance you get, the travel you get with the SVC off-road stage two package, but uh, it's got... Um, yeah, I guess tell us about the suspension a little bit. So you're so, saying this is a really nice yeah, suspension. Upgraded uh, reservoir shocks, um, upgraded upper control arms, upgraded um, tie rod ends. Um, you know, it's it's got different joints for ball joints. It's it's got track bars um, in the rear of it, um, upgraded bump stops. These things from the factory had a problem bending frames. And so 
uh, SBC Off Road developed a kit to uh, keep idiots like from me bending in frames. <laughs> I remember watching that video like way back when <laughs> yeah. of the Raptor jumping and the guy sure. having the airbags go off. Do you remember that video? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done something like Dead that? Uh, no, in Outer Banks, you know, we, we hit a couple dunes and caught some air, but you know, sand is soft and yeah. you know, I, I made sure we had some good landing. So. Have you driven like a new TRX at all or I no? no? Yeah, so I'm interested to see how this would compete as is this versus the TRX. You know Do you the, think you would smoke it? I, so I mean, I, with power-wise, what you were just talking about, it would. I think that the TRX would get it off the line. So that, that style supercharger makes uh, on the TRX makes great power low end. The F1A makes power um, a little bit higher end. Okay. Um, it's really like a drag car yep. pro charger. So it's probably not the best setup on this truck. Uh, when it starts making power, it really starts making power. So I think, I think this thing would end up passing the TRX in the quarter? Um, I think so. Yeah, never been on track with it. That'd be interesting to see a, this oh, versus a TRX on yeah, quarter mile. Love to. <laughs> um, it's real fun pulling up to the uh, Gen 2 Turbo Raptors and you know they're they're faster than these old old stinkers when they're not tinkered yeah. with so. Heck yeah. Well there's nothing that beats a good old V8 and honestly this thing's still like what's this 10 years later. Yeah. I think it's still it's a timeless design especially with the wide body. I love the way that this thing looks. I love the paint match fender flares. Got the KC lights up top. Anything done on the interior at all or basically uh, all stock inside? The interior's pretty stock. Um, I nice and plush. Clean, but, yeah. Um, you know it's got it's got 10 years of kids and boogers and dog hair and <laughs> you know, all that good stuff. Well yeah it's pretty much a loaded up first gen Raptor too. I mean, you got pretty much everything, every option that you could get. You got the gauges here, AEM, that's a quality, quality gauge right there. And then when you come around back, what do we got going on back here? Um, spare tire carrier. Um, probably the least proud thing I am of is this uh, armadillo uh, bed frame system. It's really, it's, it's an Amazon throw up there. I think um, it looks pretty sweet, honestly. Yeah, we, we put it up there so I could put the high lift jack on there. Um, the truck has a, a couple inch lift on it um, that was added to it when we did the uh, King suspension on it. So um, I wanted to get a high lift jack somewhere and that was Amazon's best choice. So um, that's what we got. Amazon's best, there you go. And I forget what, the, um, what this uh, tailgate uh, will go off road. So they, they have a great product, obviously. It's well built, it's welded together. Um, but that's my spare tire carrier. It hangs out. You got to be careful in parking lots. Practicality. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, you know, if you guys uh, need to go to Home Depot, at least maybe you could have a sheet of plywood rest on the spare tire. But other than that, like the little things are going to probably I fall at the back. this vehicle. It does Home Depot runs, um, you know, picking up kids in the school line with it. It, uh, it it's, it's been... I haven't dated it. You know, I've, I've driven it. Um, You're that dad with the monster truck. It's got about yeah. It's got about probably about ten thousand miles on the on the truck since the engine and trans build. Oh, so know. the trans is new too. Yeah, the trans is a fully built trans uh, Rogers transmission, and Chantilly built it. Um, okay, well we didn't include that on the first estimate. It's got uh, <laughs> yeah. It's got uh, some special stall converter in it. It's got all billet whatever this and that in the trans all the goodies so, yeah supposed to make it bulletproof um it chirps gears you know on, on uh, shifts and... i think one of the best pieces on the raptor might be this license plate oh yeah the raptor that's a pretty original license plate yeah what uh, how'd you how'd you uh get the inspiration with uh, that license plate you know i jokingly said that to my wife and the next thing i know i had vanity plates in the mail so it stuck <laughs> Everybody at my shop calls it the rap turd. I don't know why we went with ERD, but it is the turd, so. Hey, that's how you do it. So, uh, thank you for walking us around this. You know, I think the viewers kind of get an idea of what this truck is really about with the suspension, the motor, and stuff like that. So, I guess we should put it to use and see what it does on the road, Let's right? Get a speeding ticket. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Wow, that's really, that's better than a Prius right there. 43 miles per gallon. Hybrid. Hybrid. How dare you?
Oh, you did say something before we left. Right? Get a speeding ticket. Yeah. <laughs> you said let's get a speeding ticket. Good thing we did. Yeah, that was close. One of the things nice about the suspension is, is um, even though you get a ton of travel, it doesn't lean far in the corners. Um, a lot of times you get like this big body roll. Yeah. And um, this thing actually sticks pretty, pretty well. Oh wow! Yeah, corners, you're right. Especially for a big heavy truck. drives tame as well you don't it's not uh, it's not ballistic you know you know it, it goes through the gears nice and smooth when you need it to it idles well it starts up every time um, in fact that was a, a problem on our first tune with the smaller pro charger in the original engine is we could never get it to idle very well um, like I said JPC racing out in Maryland they uh, went through this uh, all the all the programming and, and did a really really mild tune to drive to and from and uh, also made it nasty if need be. What was the uh, issue with the idle? What was causing? Um, I, I, so I think that there's a turbulence problem in the uh, intake tube near the MAF sensor. Um, so the, the sensor that's measuring that airflow yeah. Um, was getting a lot of turbulence from the Pro Charger, so they re relocated where that sensor is at, and then um, you know decided correct fuel uh, fuel timing for uh, for the tune. So now it's behaving. Uh, yeah, it used to surge really poorly, and you know, we really had some issues with uh, with idle before. So bigger engine, bigger cams, bigger Pro Charger, idles better. Kind of odd. And better gas mileage, not. No. <laughs> That's the uh, least of the worries here. <laughs> nice. That like soaked up that bump so well. Yeah. This thing would be insane to jump, wouldn't it? Um, you know, yeah, the funny thing is, is that I only did small jumps and you just don't even feel it. Um, if I can find the video, I'll try to find the video. You know, I didn't even know I really left the ground. Um, I could totally see how it would be like that. So, um, one thing I wanted to say is that if you guys are watching this video and like, man, that truck is really, really cool. You know, I've been looking for a first generation Raptor. This one is actually for sale. And again, this one has over, he said 80,000, but then we started talking about the transmission and a couple other things. So it probably has like over $90,000 roughly, you know, roughly in modifications. And what's it for sale for? Um, I'd love to get rid of this thing for fifty-five, somewhere near there. Fifty-five thousand? Yeah. Okay. That'd make me feel just good enough to be sad. Yeah, just not sad, but like <laughs> not like insanely depressed. Yeah. I yeah. Could, you know, wipe my tears away with a couple bills. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So, again, if you guys are interested, I'll be sure to have I'll, I, I'll have my email in the description box down below. You guys can send me an email, and then I'll put you in touch with Brian if you guys are truly interested. Please don't waste our time or his time. Um, I greatly appreciate it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I say in all of my videos, now that we've hit 10,000 subscribers, I am on my journey to 100,000. So if you guys did enjoy the video, took anything from the video, made you smile, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.